What's up guys? So I recently got a pretty nifty comment about my teaching ability and I didn't know I was that good at it. So I decided I'm going to make another tutorial video. And today we're gonna to be making something simple, which is just a wine bottle like this. So it's got the cork texture you see up there. It's got its own label. Don't worry, I created the label myself. So I'll be giving you guys this file so you don't have to worry about copyright. And the bottle itself kind of looks like a glass. So let's get straight into it. We're gonna to go to File, New. And General. I'm not gonna save this because I can just make it again. I'm that good. Uh, this cube we're not gonna need, so we're gonna press X on the keyboard and delete it. And what we want first is a reference image. So I'm gonna press the tilde key. I think it's called the tilde key that squiggly line below the escape button, and we're gonna to go to the front view. I'm gonna press Shift A and go to image and add a reference. And I'll give you guys this image, these images, and I've got a reference image of a wine bottle. So we're gonna zoom in, and now I'm gonna go press that tilde key again, the thing below the escape button, and go to the top view, Shift A, go to mesh, and then circle. So we're gonna take this circle and we're gonna size it down by pressing S on the keyboard and bring it to about the size of that wine bottle top. So let's press the tilde key, go back to the front view. You can see the circles over here. We're gonna press G to drag it up, G to grab. We're gonna bring it to the top and try to get it to the same size as this uh, wine bottle. So make sure it's right in the center. We'll start from here. I'm gonna press S to size it up. So it's the same size as the top. And then I'm just gonna press E to extrude. Now, when you extrude, uh, oh, we're actually in object mode. So we wanna switch over here to edit mode so that we can start editing the circle. You can press tab as well to go to edit mode. So when we extrude, you see it's gonna be moving left and right and all over the place. We don't want that. So after you press E to extrude, you're gonna press Z on the keyboard so that it gets stuck to the Z axis. Now, no matter what I do, I can't bring it left and right. So we are just going to rinse, repeat, bring this down, and then E to extrude it again, Z on the Z axis. Bring it down just a little, size it up with S, open it up, E and then Z on the keyboard to extrude it down. Uh, you can click to like solidify that extrusion. And then E, extrude again. We're gonna size it down with S. And we're just rinse repeating this pro process. So we're gonna go and extrude it down again, E. Lock it to the Z axis by pressing Z on the keyboard. Bring it down here. Let's zoom in. I'm using shift in the middle mouse button to kind of like pan around and using the scroll wheel and the mouse to zoom in and out. So then let's extrude again on the Z axis and size it up with S and just rinse repeat, do the same thing. And just kind of get this silhouette of the wine bottle going. So now we're gonna bring it all the way down. Um, I'm just gonna use the grab tool, G, and then move it down on the Z axis all the way to the bottom of the bottle. And then we are going to simply move it and repeat the whole extrude and sizing process. Extrude, size down, extrude, size down. All right, so we made it to the bottom. And you'll see, now we have a 3D wine bottle. Pretty cool, right? 
but there's still some work to be done. So if we press Shift Z, we can kind of X-ray and see through it. So I'm gonna get rid of this reference image. Let me name it reference so I don't confuse it in the future and rename that circle we made as bottle. Let's call it wine bottle. You wanna make that a good habit to name things, whether it's in this uh, collection here or in like your folder, so I had my images named. It's good to build that habit early on to save you a headache later on. So let's get rid of this reference image. Shift Z to go back to regular mode. And as you can see, there's kind of a hole in the top here, which is good and also bad. So what we're gonna do actually is uh, we're gonna take this top part here and we're gonna separate it and use it to make the cork. And then we're gonna close the bottom part here and we're gonna smooth out this whole bottle so that it looks like a, you know, it looks like an actual smooth wine bottle. So let's go back to edit mode and we need all of these to be selected at the bottom, these vertex points. So make sure you're in edit mode, you're selected your vertex selection. We're gonna click on one point and then you're gonna hold alt and click on the adjacent point to get the array of points. Now that we have that selected, you're just gonna press F to fill and that'll close the bottom. So we'll do the same thing at the top. Just uh, click the empty space to deselect the old ones. We're gonna click on this point and then Alt, click to get the array and then F to fill. So now we wanna separate this so that we can use it as a cork. I could do it a cheap way and just kind of bring this up and like say, hey, that's a cork. But what I wanna do is make it an actual like separate object. So let's go back to the front to view. I'm gonna select faces here in edit mode, shift Z so I can uh, see through and select the other side of this cork part. And we'll just drag and select this. Shift Z to go back. And then I wanna separate this, make this a separate object. So I'm gonna press P to separate the selection. And now you can see I can drag this up Oops. Oh, go back to object mode so I can drag this up and it's its own separate thing. And we can now see inside of the wine bottle. Great. All right, so what I want to do now is actually, I'm gonna take this bottom part and close it. So while in edit mode, we're gonna select this vertex and the adjacent vertex. We're gonna press F to fill. And then we're going to press G for grab and then Z to move it down on the Z axis and put it inside of that bottle. Just like that. So now the cork is inside. Let me put it a bit lower. That seems about right. And then I'm gonna take this top part Make sure I got it all selected. Let me bring that down just a little bit. And I'm gonna use S to size to make it just a bit wider. So you ever notice corks are always like a bit wider at the top, just a little bit. All right, great, so we got a bottle, we got a cork. Now we need to smooth everything. So what I'm going to do, I select the wine bottle. First, let's name this cork. I'm gonna select the wine bottle, go to object mode, click on object here, and then go to shade smooth. There's other ways to smooth this out. We can use subdivision surface, which would just add more polygons to smooth it out. In some cases you wanna do that, but in this case we don't have to, cause it would kind of like, if you're not running the fastest computer, it would bog it down. So it's always just to use the least amount of geometry possible and to, to still get the same uh, model of what we want. So we're gonna do the same thing with the cork object. Shade smooth, now we have the cork and the bottle, great. It's looking more like a wine bottle, but we need to texture it. So what I'm gonna do is let's cut out a piece for the label. So let's go to edit mode, we're gonna select a couple polygons. So let's make sure we got faces selected. 
and I'll select about 10 of these. So let's go to the front view and I'll go from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to hold control and select this 10th one. I'm going to press K for knife and we're going to knife a straight line from about here to here. Click and then press enter and we're going to do the same thing again and knife from about here to here, straight line. Make sure the line's straight. All right, cool. I'm going to press enter. So the selection of polygons is going to be our label. We're going to make that our label. So what I'm going to do is now start with the texturing. So we're going to select this entire bottle. What you want to do is you can click any polygon and then press control L to select the whole thing. We're going to go here to material properties, new, we'll rename this bottle or I guess glass bottle. And let's just give it a color like, I don't know, maybe like a purple bluish kind of make it a bit darker and press assign. So that should change the color of it all. We don't see the color yet, but what you want to do is press Z on your keyboard, press and hold Z and go to material preview and you'll see that the color will appear there. So now let's select those polygons that we cut. We're going to give that its own uh, material. So I'm going to press this plus sign here, new, let's call it label. Uh, let's make its color, I don't know, like a, we'll just make it like a, I don't know, like a red for now, a dark red. And then we're going to press assign and that should give it its color. So now we're going to do the same thing with the cork. Let's go to object mode, select this cork, go to material, material properties. Select new, we'll call it cork. And then we're gonna make it like a brownish color. Cause that's the color of a cork, right? It's usually like brownish. All right, great. So now everything has a base color, but we wanna make it shiny. And we wanna have that texture that I made over here. So what we have to do is unwrap that texture onto these polygons here. So what we're going to do actually is go over here to UV editing. Now don't be scared. This is uh, just a different section of Blender. It's very easy to understand. I'll walk you through it on this right side here. We're going to make it material preview so we can see the colors. Make sure you're in edit mode. We're going to select these polygons again. Uh, the wine bottle. Select these polygons. And we're actually going to go to the material property again. And here where it says base color, make sure label is selected. We're going to click here and we're going to add an image texture because we have to add an image there. So we're going to press open and open up the image of the label that I have or I have it saved. So now that label should show up here and it's not showing up properly because we need to unwrap it on there. So what I'm going to do is click here where it says UV, go to unwrap and click on unwrap and there. Um, still, it's not the right size just yet. So what we're going to do is actually select all this and we're just going to press S to size and size it up on the Y axis just a bit to match the image. And I'm going to move it up with G on the Y axis. And that should give us our dancing monkey logo. Cool, huh? All right, great. So now we still need to make the bottle shiny so we can go back to modeling, 
material preview. And we need to make this bottle shiny. So we're gonna go to the material preview, click on glass bottle. And to make it shiny, we wanna add like uh, some, we wanna change the roughness value. So we're gonna bring it down and you'll see it'll start to get shiny and reflect this uh, preset image that Blender has, whatever it is. It looks like, I see trees, maybe it's a park or something. And then if you want, you can bring up the specularity or bring it down. If it's up, it might be like a little too shiny. So we'll bring it down a bit so it's not reflecting too much. Let's change this color maybe to a little bit more of a darker purplish kind of looking color. And then what I'm actually gonna do is bring up the metallic property. Now I know it's glass, it's not actually metallic, but the thing when it comes to modeling and texturing, it's just like, you're the artist. So of course it's not metallic, but putting it up makes it look more like a wine bottle. You know what I mean? So you just wanna play with properties so you get something that you want. So I kinda of like it when I put the metallic up, maybe not that much, maybe not too much roughness or too much specularity. Yeah, about there is fine. It depends on the look that you wanna go for. So we still need to texture this cork as well. Um, we can go to cork now. Let's go to object mode cork. And we're just gonna add a texture, image texture again. So we'll click on the circle and base color. Go to image texture. And we're gonna open up that cork image that I have. And there we go. So it's not quite wrapped around it properly. So let me go back to UV editing. And let's make sure we're in edit mode, go to UV, click live unwrap, we'll go to unwrap, click on, let's go to cylinder projection because it's a cylinder. Uh, let's make sure this whole object is selection, selected. So control L, go to UV, unwrap, and then unwrap onto it. Sorry, we'll go to UV, unwrap, and then smart UV project, and just click OK on the default properties. And then there we go. We've got that cork texture. It may not be the most high res one, but that's it. We have our wine bottle now. That's how you add textures. Um, as well. And yeah, that's, that's it. So you successfully added a reference image. Uh, you extruded a circle along that reference image to make this wine bottle and the cork and we added textures to it. Now there's more that goes into texturing. Uh, we could add like a different maps, like a I don't know, like a like a gradient map, like a height map, to uh, or normal map to make this look more realistic. But this is just a very basic tutorial, and I'll probably do that in another tutorial to show you guys how to texture a bit more uh, realistically. But this is this is good for just like a simple object. So I hope you like the tutorial. You have your own wine bottle. Maybe someday I'll make a tutorial showing how to make like a liquid flowing out of this wine bottle. Perhaps I'll do that next. So thanks for watching and uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that I can uh, make more of these videos for you guys. I hope this helped. Take care.